Okay. So let's um now we're having uh, just to introduce everybody. Um, this, we're here at Landon Off. This is RC team. Hello. Oh. <laughs> they can't see you. But anyways, um, just a very quick uh, video and on basically having a look at all the photos sent to us by the Metro Hobbies team in Nuremberg. We have a team in Nuremberg. Very lucky. Ground yeah, level. very lucky. And yes. um, they sent us these photos, and we're going to have a quick look. Absolutely. So let's start with the first set, which is basically Tamiya's new BBX or BB-01. Chassis, yes. Chassis. It and looks amazing. Um, it, uh, it's rear-wheel drive. Um, it has a gear differential, uh, basically a whole new chassis, mm -hmm. uh, new tires, uh, new to Tamiya and new wheels. Mm -hmm. Um, aeration shocks on the front and rear, mm -hmm. uh, fully ball bearing, ball race, I should say. Mm -hmm. um, and I'm assuming the body would come in uh, unpainted. You can paint it yourself. Well, it, it says here that the component, the body, the body itself is not a standard body shape. No, it's, the, it's, it's like a three piece, what they call a three yeah. piece. So one at the front, uh, one at the side, and one at the rear. So yeah. you can add and subtract as you go along. So would very customizable. I don't know. Hard to say. I would assume that it would be unpainted, and then knowing Tamiya, they, they allow you to customize. Okay. Well, yeah, just because I can see it painted on the, uh, the display, and they what also do you think, have pop-up. Well, to be honest, I, I think it'll just come as a unpainted body. Um, generally, you'll find that they're doing this just more display purposes, mm -hmm. so they have a pre-painted body ready to go. Mm -hmm. um, and and it just it, it basically shows also that it's multi-piece, not just a standard, yeah. you know, um, one item around the whole car. Okay. But uh, it's broken the internet. It's amazing. Yeah. Um, I want one. Um, <laughs> You've you already know, ordered one. I've already ordered one. <laughs> yeah, bring it on. Uh, it's going to be a beauty. Yeah. Um, the battery uh, slots in uh, longitudinally, I guess, yeah. underneath the driver's feet. Um, they've done a great job. It looks like a, a multi-link suspension, kind of like a floating rear end. Um, it, you know, some people have said it's a, a cross between a Javelin, a Kyosha Javelin. Kind of looks hornety. Yeah, yeah. yeah. You know, uh, the, the S SRB chassis, the Rough Rider, yeah. um, the SC10B is, you know, been brought up. Um, but yeah, look, we're going to have lots of fun with this car. You know, you can put, you can really customise it. And I'm not surprised if, I won't be surprised if we... Uh, you know, spawned a new race class actually running looks, these cars. It looks also, if you go back, you can sort of see on the rear cage, there might even be a possibility to put a spare tyre. That is absolutely right. I reckon <laughs> there'll be a mount in there. You can put a spare tyre, which will then create extra weight over the rear, which will give you extra traction on loose on a loose track. What are so, your, what are you, I have to ask, what are your thoughts on the chrome plating on the wheels? Um, look, I, I, think it's I think it's fine. Look, yeah. you know, it's that sort of old school... Um, sort of that sort of 12 slotter, I think it's 12 slots, that sort of retro look, mm -hmm. um, the Baja style, yep, yeah, I can't, I really can't fault it. Mm -hmm. uh, looks a little bit busy with, with the, the, the actual, um, the frame of the car, but you know, that's how they, that's how they yeah. made it. They, it, it, these cars were, um, got that tubular frame and those little triangles that you see and all those funny little shapes that they're there to, to strengthen the car. So either way, I think they've smashed it out of the park. I, awesome. I think it's amazing. I think yeah. also like to break up those side walls with the chrome. You know, there's obviously going to be a lot of guys out there who will paint in the, the lettering of the actual yeah. side walls yeah. as well. Yeah. And that will really make it pop. It's, this, um, this will be eminently customizable. Yeah. Those hop-up parts... Um, so the slipper, that slipper clutch? A slipper clutch, yes. And um, uh, I think a, a metal mo uh, servo mount. Um, and I can see also there is a CV drive shaft. A CV drive shaft. So mm. it would come as a dog burn, I think, out of the box. <clears throat> um, and those hop-up parts you can buy to, to, to really hop up the car. So fantastic. They've done well. This, apparently, this is an old car. It's the Mercedes-Benz. C11 9090. It's, um, it's based on the, the chassis, sorry? It's, um, I believe it's the, the, the bathtub chassis, the, what they call the the C... The... <laughs> it's essentially driven from um, an F chassis, like Formula chassis, mm -hmm. uh, just in, in, like, you know... The Group C bathtub. chassis. Yeah. Uh, 
Yeah, it's a Group so. C chassis. We, we did see it middle of last year, uh, and and um, demand outstrip uh, supply, and I think they're bringing it out again because it was so popular. Um, Super low, very <coughs> um, high center of gravity. Low center of gravity. Basically, a Le Mans, this is a Le Mans style yeah. car. Yeah. Group, C um, Group C racing. So it's a direct drive motor, direct uh, drive straight onto the axle. Um, pretty simple looking, pretty simple mechanically. Mm -hmm. um, all the effort's gone into the body. Um, the car is designed to uh, go fast uh, on a very smooth track. Um, Beautiful detail on the car. A mm. lot of people, uh, especially in the UK, have added 3D parts mm -hmm. that uh, that are suitable for the car. They've made uh, intake vents. They've made wing mirrors that are appropriate for the car. Um, light buckets that yeah. that fit the car. So you get a really scale look to the car. You reckon to me it's trying to revive the F1 C chassis. Look, I mean, it's not that big a uh, risk. Possibly. Very niche, there very is yeah. a, a little bit for everybody. They're going to keep everyone happy. I, I did notice they brought out, they bring out also an, uh, an Audi Le Mans car, I believe. Mm. Um, that sort of just broke cover. Is mm -hmm. that right, Des? Mm -hmm. um, so, look, um, a bit for everybody. Some Something for the rock crawlers, something for the... The buggy enthusiasts, people, yep. you know, it's there's a bit for everybody. No one's left out. Even the, 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 the truck tractor drivers are have been included. So um, there is something out there for everyone. Uh, next up, we got the Hot Shot Two um, with the redesign. Well, basically the with the blockhead motors um, design input. Mm. Um, mm. So Darren, you know more about this than I do. Uh, well, to be honest, yeah, it, it is just a, a hopped up sort of. Uh, Hot Shot 2, uh, obviously a little bit slightly different in the way of the of the top roll cage, um, slightly higher proportion than the standard Hot Shot. Mm -hmm. uh, but the driver can actually see out out through the window now instead of <laughs> yeah. squinting down. You'll notice that with all the all the blockheads that they tend to have a, a lot bigger cabin, mm -hmm. um, which for me sort of throws the proportions out just a little bit, um, but still you know beautiful. It's yeah. a beautiful car. beautiful car. It's going to be highly sought massive after, mm. and a massive, uh, <laughs> massive front bumper in case you want to run into a tree. Um, and I believe there's even a little um, a guard at the back that wasn't in the original Hot Shot, uh, sort of a, a larger guard which uh, we can't really see. see. You can't yeah. see it, but it's yeah, it's got a it's got a higher higher roof so the driver can see see out, mm -hmm. and um, so a few little bits and pieces there. It'll be again a, they'll smash it out of the park just like the wild. The mm -hmm. wild one of a few of, of last year. So, yep. yep, very, very exciting car as well. Okay, next up is the, oh, okay, the Avanti Black Special. Yes. Which looks um, retro. Yes, yeah, similar to, to, to I think, the, the, the re-release of the, the Avanti just recently. A slightly different paint job, um, which is a homage to their mini four-wheel drive yep. cars. Little um, spinning little, cars. Yep, little cars that are popular, yep. that run on tracks. Um, still a beautiful car, and um, again, you know, if you're a collector um, yeah, and you've got the dollars, you can certainly get yourself one. I'm just looking at those that front suspension. Yes, the, they are the, trick the, and um, very laid down suspension. I on can, those. See, I can yeah. see basically a lot of things getting it's, it's, jammed in there. Yeah. The pleasure is in the build, and tell me, I do uh, like to complicate things a bit mm -hmm. and and make make a simple simple uh, steering suspension a little bit more special. By, by adding a million other parts to it. so um, And that's why we love them. Um, <laughs> nice we spent, and shiny. Nice and shiny. We spent hours making making front suspensions and but rear suspensions. This particular one, it, this one could be a pre-painted body. Yeah, so that's possible, yes. Um, yeah. yes. I think they wanted to go with a, you know, a distinct image that this one would be rather than you know people customising it. Uh, yeah, I so, think you might be right, yes. And yeah. it's got the pink wheels too, which... I don't think the last one had pink wheels. No, no. no. So there you go. Um, next up, we actually have a candy green grasshopper. I think that's a pre-painted body. Mm -hmm. Definitely. Because uh, grasshoppers are green, so yep. it's uh, pre-painted. <laughs> yes, absolutely. So yes, that's one for the fans as well. The retro, you know, going back to to everyone's youth. Um, mm -hmm. A pre-painted uh, grasshopper is... Uh, that'll be popular the with uh, that is, looks oh, like it's a classic the vintage. Absolutely, mm -hmm. yeah. yeah. Yep. Next up, we have a Fiat Abarth. 
uh, on a MB01 chassis. Mm -hmm. Yes, brand new chassis from Tamiya. Yes, yeah. um, uh, very exciting. Um, I believe this can be configured in, in six different configurations. Um, uh, the, in, in three, three different wheelbases and two different motor mm -hmm. um, Two, I beg your pardon. I, I, I did check that it's actually two. two. Is it? it is two. Right. Um, so front or rear, not yeah, mid, not as mid. I originally okay. thought. So my, my apologies. But yes, two motor configurations and, and, and three wheel bases. So Wait, essentially... You need to put the battery somewhere. Yeah. So. yeah. And essentially, it's going to be um, the modern day version of an M06 or an M05 or a FF01 or two. Um, um, chassis is going to be multi-purpose. I think this will take us into many, many future um, cars. But the, the, the MV01s, like this new MV01, like the MO6 and MO5s before, mm -hmm. will be a shorter um, aspect. Yes. Yeah, yeah, it is an M chassis. I, I, I'm pretty sure going on what they've done with this, I essentially think that they're going to get rid of, like, like let's say, the MO5s and MO6s as they release um, kit form, mm -hmm. they may still keep it as a roller or a particular chassis like that. But with their like new um, M bodies and, and kits that they're bringing out, because it is so universal, yeah. they only need to bring one chassis out as opposed to let's say, say exactly. essentially two. This um, is going to be the universal spanner mm -hmm. that will do all their previous bodies. Mm -hmm. And depending on what type of car you buy in the future, It'll be the MB01 chassis in mm -hmm. uh, front motor or rear motor or short or medium or long wheelbase. So, mm. uh, in terms of production, it'll be mm. standardized, yeah. and you'll get in the box that suits whatever suits the car. So, For again, release, yeah, yeah, really, really clever. It, it's say it, basically you have you know different parts you can put together yeah. and sell a you different car. You reckon the uh, older MO, MO5s, MO6 body shells will go on? Oh, I, I, yes. I would. Think yep. that they would, yes, yep. absolutely. If this Fiat Bath even has a lifting rear boot, yeah. so you can view the I motor. Hope. So looks really exciting. Um, I've got my name down for one. So again, <laughs> I mean, yeah. Okay. So All looks right. looks pretty cool. Next up, we got a Golf. Yes, that a, is the um, is that MX MX01 MX01 MF01 MX. Yeah. Oh, okay. Yes. Um, What's the difference between... So, so that is um, a rear-wheel drive um, rally yeah. chassis. Higher. Higher, also for road. Um, and um, I think the last two cars that they brought in this chassis was the, the Mark II Escort mm -hmm. in the blue and the white. Yep. Um, and also and the... blue and white. Yeah, absolutely. And the... Um, There's light blue on there. The, 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 the Volkswagen <laughs> Rally the mfo one x chassis is not a new chassis it's uh, i believe old, it's an older chassis it's an yes older chassis because of yeah. the way if you look at that that's not even a bath it can't yeah. even call it a bathtub chassis. yeah no it's not it's um again i think you can you can change the configuration of the chassis but it is shaft driven the shafts on the right hand side um it is an old chassis. What they bring out new is the new body, mm -hmm. um, and the detail. The devil in the de detail is the body, mm -hmm. the the um, the rally lights and the the bezels and yeah. all the bits and pieces that you see attached to the car. You can paint them. You can add lights. You can really do awesome. lots with it. So um, cool. people won't necessarily paint it in in in, in box art. They will make yeah. it special. Uh, so we've got the Yaris there. Oh, okay. um, the That's rally, the, the, the rally, rally. Ya Yaris. Yes, mm -hmm. the CLK. Mm -hmm. um, Mercedes, Mercedes Benz. Yep. And the Toyota GT4. Yes. Um, Which is a very complex looking body shell. Yes. Mm -hmm. So the Yaris will be a, a sticker, um, mm -hmm. uh, a sticker. Sticker nightmare. Sticker nightmare. <laughs> I reckon hundred, you know, hundred and forty <laughs> stickers. You'll spend three days putting them together and tearing your hair out. But uh, <laughs> great looking car. Um, massive big wing on it um, you know if you like putting stickers on that's the car for you guys <laughs> um, TTO2 chassis tried and true um, you know it's it is, yep. it is well made mm. um, the uh, the CLK beautiful gorgeous, gorgeous. silver mm. yep um, if you're a Mercedes-Benz fan there's a massive wing on that beautiful silver 
um, not as many stickers. Not as many stickers, yeah. um, and and this is highly sought after because this chassis, this body set, has been has been the first time it's been released for a very long time. Wow. Um, so there'll be lots of. Um, I think they would have done this week before. Or, yeah. I believe there's a lot of aficionados there that um, oh, okay. are waiting on this body set. So um, just a quick point of difference: is this? Uh, well, I can see that the uh, the wheels or, or the tires are configured for rally. Is that right? Um, I'm not sure. I had to see from here. It looks yeah. it, it, it may be treaded. Thought, they will yeah. have yeah. Generally, if it's if it's going to be a rally chassis like that, then they will release that in the kit with it. A, a treaded um, rally, a treaded yeah, radial tire, yeah. perhaps is same as what they did with the WRX, the '99 Monaco. Yeah. Um, yep. know. Moving on to the Alfa Romeo. Yes, the Alfa is um, going to be another highly sought after chassis. I think it's a remake, um, but uh, certainly uh, a gorgeous looking body. And um, do we know what chassis that one's sitting on? I it? think it's a TTO2. TTO2. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Um, so. The uh, the original wheels that come with the body, uh, with the set, uh, are true to form. Um, again, I think this will be uh, another winner, and okay. there'll be um, a, a sticker, a sticker attaches um, dream. Um, lots mm -hmm. of interesting martini stickers. The martini stickers are always a challenge to attach to a car. Uh, you need lots of patience, a hair dryer. <laughs> and um, uh, you know, um, yep. uh, attention to detail. So it'll 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 do well. Here comes a CCO two, LC uh, forty series on forty one. series yeah. Land Cruiser yep. on a CCO two chassis, which is uh, a cross country chassis. Um, looks like it's got new wheels and new tires, I believe. Mm -hmm. um, still the same chassis, uh, new body. So. Um, it will. Um, there is a, a strong market for for Land Cruiser bodies out there. If you like the, uh, the that retro mm -hmm. uh, off roading look. Another CCO two is the Land Cruiser. Yes. Which I'm pretty sure a lot of soccer moms would love. They would <laughs> love that. Yes. Yes. That. They can put a trailer on the back and they can go, uh, you know, go camping with that car. So again. Um, <laughs> No, not we need the Kyosho jet skin. Yeah, we do. Yes, <laughs> yes, we do. So, uh, look, it, there's a market out there for them, and um, it's a nice modern car, um, and, uh, you know, uh, Toyota build quality is just like Tamiya build quality. And that's it. I, basically, that's uh, all most of the photos that we were sent early on, mm -hmm. and um, thanks, guys. I appreciate you sharing your thoughts. No, no worries. Thank you. Thank you. All right, cheers. Thanks. Bye.